In this video tutorial, I'm actually going to carry out a live um, arbitrage trading on the OKS um, exchange, okay? And all of this will be doing it on the P2P platform, all right? So if you don't have an account with OKX, you need to, you know, sign up for one. And all I need to do is to come into where I say buy crypto, okay? And then you go to P2P trading. So um, this process, you can do it, okay? Um, arbitrage trading, the profit in arbitrage trading, once you're not doing it with um, a larger capital, the profit are just, you know, um, very minimal, but you can, you know, rinse and repeat the process again and again to be able to get something out of it, all right? So if I come in here to the P2P, one will buy USDT, okay? So when we buy USDT, um, then we'll go to the next step. So first and foremost, I'm going to look for who to buy USDT from. So in this case, this person is selling from 400 to around 35. Okay, I'm gonna start this with a 100K. So I'll look for somebody that sells up to 100K. This is 95,037. So we'll just look for somebody. Okay, this is 300K, right? Uh, we're going to buy from this person. This person is selling up to 300K. So all I need to do is just to click on buy USDT. So when I buy USDT, um, I want to pay 100, okay? So that will give me around um, 135 USDT. So I'm doing through bank transfer. I'll go ahead and click on buy USDT. Okay, so this is a summary of what I'm gonna get. So just click on continue. All right, so this is where we are. I have the option to call this person, okay? So if I want to call this person, I have the option to just click on this um, dial icon here and then call the person and I can equally chat up the person as well, okay? Um, but from the look of things, um, this guy is a merchant and I believe uh, this is um, part of his business. So I wouldn't want to, you know, delay. He wouldn't want, he or she wouldn't want to delay me in this transaction. Okay. So let me just send a chat to be sure that the person is actually online. The person replies, then we'll proceed to making the payment. And our time is ticking. So we have, um, I think, 15 minutes to make this transaction to carry out this transaction. So our time is ticking. Let's just wait um, if the person will respond. And even if the person doesn't respond, I'll go ahead and make this payment. I won't lose my money because uh, uh, P2P is, um, before this person actually listed this ad, it means that the person has that amount of um, USDT to sell to you. So whether the person respond or not, all I need to do is just to Tell okay is that, oh, I made payment to this person. If I can prove that, I will still release the crypto to me. But the reason for this is um, not to waste time, okay? So let me just say, are you available, please? This is one of the things I don't like. All right, let's just go ahead. Um, if I make the payment, okay, as we notify this person. So let me just go ahead and make the transfer, okay? So I'm gonna make the transfer to, this is the account name, okay? This is the bank um, account number, and then the bank is OP, okay? So this is where we're going to make the payment to. So I'll just go ahead and uh, make the transfer while I wait for the person to respond. And after that, I'll just um, go ahead and see that confirm payment, all right? Okay, so I have completed the payment. So I just go ahead and click on confirm payment. Okay, so I have to check this, okay? So I just click on confirm. You can click here to remind the seller, all right? So they say reminder sent. 
So um, we just close. Let's wait for the seller to confirm our payment. So this is what we do um, on a daily basis. Okay. If you are, um, you are not busy, all right, you can do this as many um, times as possible. Though in most cases, the delay comes from the seller. Um, okay. They do delay this way. Um, you know, they do take a lot of time before we actually confirm this. But this is something we just want to do. Let's just wait for this person to confirm this. Okay. Um, you can see that the payment has been confirmed. All right. So we now have that. Um, um, you can rate the person if you want. Let me just cancel this. You can rate the person. Okay. So the payment has been confirmed and um, we now have 135 USDT. So now that we have this, the next thing we need to do is to come in here to the trade and then go to convert. So once we come in here to convert, I want to convert USDT to BTC. You can do it for BTC, you can do it for Ethereum, but in this case, I'm going to try BTC, okay? So this is the max I have. I'll go ahead and click on max, and that will give me um, 0 0.007, okay? So first, before I go ahead and confirm the convert, I'll come back here to the P2P, okay? Go to sell. Once I'm sell, I'll click here to change it to BTC. Okay, now BTC, we are selling um, 100,000. Okay, this person is from 1M to 29M. This is from 50,000 to, you know, 1M. So I want to sell to this person. I'll go ahead and click on the sell here, sell BTC. So I'm going to sell that. We are going to get for the conversion. Um, this is just... Uh, Okay, right now there is no much gain in this. This is just 174 naira. Okay, uh, let me do for BT for Ethereum. So I'll come back here and then convert to it. Go to it and convert to it. Okay, Ethereum will give me 0 0.1. So let's check. Okay, you need to constantly look for this to get know when the arbitrage stuff is available. Okay, wherever is available, then you go ahead and sell there. All right. So this is from this person is selling from 500k. This is from 1k to 400, I guess. So if I sell to this person, let's say we sell 0 0.1, or uh, this is less. Okay, this is less. So we don't want to do for Ethereum. So we still need to do for BTC. BTC is the one that works for me most of the time. Okay, I'll need to do for BTC, try that again, come in here to convert, okay, max to BTC. Okay, so 7.1, copy this and try to sell BTC to who is passing, sell, and paste that here, okay. This is 200, so it's actually increasing a bit. So what I need to do now is to come in here and click on convert. Let me just go ahead and convert this, okay? So let me convert and click on confirm. All right, so that has been converted successfully at 19,000. Um, BTC is actually dropping, okay? So we'll wait for it to increase a bit and then Go ahead and sell that. All right. So I now have BTC. If I um, switch this over, you see that I now have some BTC here, which is 0 0.007. This 0 0.007 is what will now wait to sell on the P2P platform. Okay. So we'll just wait for the ad to keep updating. Um, okay. So I'll sell. Let me try that again. So if I go to this person, I want to sell BTC. I have the BTC here, so I'll just say all, okay? So all we need to do now is just to wait, all right? In this case, I the one I did before, just immediately I did it, it was 102, 
Okay, and I tried another one, it was a hundred and a um, hundred, one thousand, five hundred. Okay, so I keep trying. When I get up to two thousand, one five, or there about a one six, whatever I get, I sell and then I repeat that process again. I can do this for as many times as I want in a day. All right, but right now, because of the sharp drop, okay, if I go to let's say I go to trading view, you see that BTC has been dropping. So this dropping that is dropping now, you know, this um, edit trading views. So you see, uh, okay, this is not BTC. Let it load up. Let me open BTC for you. All right. So even the, what we did now will still affect us. So it has even dropped to, you know, we exchanged at 19,000 right now. Um, it's currently trading at, uh, you know, this 18 plus or thereabouts. So let me remove it from this Hikanashi candle and see what is happening here. All right. So you see this sharp drop. Okay. This is why we cannot make profit right now. So all we need to do, um, I've bought BTC already. Um, it's not going to run. Even if I don't sell it now, I can wait. Okay. So I'll just keep waiting until when this enters in profit, I'll go ahead and sell. That is exactly how it happened. But initially, um, when I carried that day, it worked for me twice. So I was thinking maybe sharing with you, you'll be able to get, you know, the gist and follow up. But I'll just have to wait for this. Okay. I'll wait for this. And um, one final tip I need to give you, if I come in here to BTC, normally I do this on the, this is on the four hours time frame. If I come in here to the five minutes time frame. Okay. Let me hide up all of these indicators so that um, you get what I, okay. So if I come in here to the five minutes time frame, this is when I would have converted that. You see that the RSI on the five minutes time frame is already showing um, at the overbought level. So when is at the overbought level, any moment from now, this market will start reversing back. So if I've exchanged that or converted that USDT to BTC at this price, of 18900 or thereabout okay so when with a little shoot of um let's say if it shoots back to 19 or thereabout or it continues to drop whenever it reverses back i would have just sold and then that would have been you know a huge gain for me okay but um um if you don't pay attention to this then it will not profit immediately because if i come back here and try to call, sell that again you see that um it will be lesser than the 100k right now Okay, let's look for, this is 500, 600, this is 100, okay? So if I try to sell to this person, then our, you see that it has started dropping. That is um, reacting to what is happening in the market right now, okay? But when this reverses back there, we can make profit from it, all right? Any question? I'll just wait for the market before to the close of today. I would have, you know, sold that in profit. And if I calculate everything I've made for today alone, then it would have been up to 10K. It would have been up to 10K. So this one does, um, you know, it's, you don't need any experience to do this. You just, you know, follow the steps I've given you in this video and you should be able to profit from it. Hello, Digital. Yes, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I joined late, but I don't know what is the, where, which site are you taking? Or, I don't know. It's okay, X. Um, it's okay, X. If you don't have an account with OKS, the link is in the um, um, chat section. Okay, so OKX, I post the link there. If you want, you can sign up for an account. It's OKS exchange I'm using. And whatever I'm doing here, you can do it. Um, the, the major exchanges you can do this is you can do it on KuCoin, you can do it on Binance, and you can do it on OKS. These are the coins. Now, the reason why we use the convert option is because you are converting at zero fee. Okay, when you convert, you convert at zero fee. So that is the reason why we use um, some of these um, exchanges that have the convert option. 
Ucoin has, OKS has, and then uh, Binance equally has as well. 